One of the first questions you might ask is, why should I even use Gemini CLI? Aren't there already so many other tools like Cursor, CloudCode, and Windsurf? Gemini CLI was released by Google on June 25, 2025. So compared to other existing tools, Gemini CLI is relatively new. But similar to other existing tools like CloudCode, Gemini CLI is also a terminal-based application, which means it lives in your terminal with immediate access to your local files natively. One critical characteristic of Gemini CLI is that the application is open source with Apache 2.0 license, which means you can not only see how well Gemini CLI actually works, but also customize it for commercial use as well. Another big case for Gemini CLI is that the underlying engine that powers it is Google's state-of-the-art model called Gemini 2.5 Pro, which means you have direct access to use Google's best model in your terminal. So here's a natural question. When do I use Gemini CLI? What are some examples of its use cases? Gemini CLI works just like any other terminal commands like dir to list your directory or cd to change your current directory to a different location. So to run Gemini CLI, you just have to run the command Gemini and inside the Gemini terminal, you can ask Gemini to carry out any tasks, like how many files do I have in my directory? And here, it'll tell you exactly how many files you have using the Gemini 2.5 Pro model. And just like any other terminal commands, you can also provide arguments like Gemini-P, how many files do I have in my current directory? In this case, your prompt is fed directly into Gemini and it runs directly in your preferred terminal like this. You can also use the add command to refer to specific file or directory inside the prompt. For example, instead of saying Gemini-P, how many files do I have in my directory? Instead, you can say Gemini-P, how many files do I have in at slash home slash desktop? And Gemini will answer it accordingly. So back to the earlier question, what is the best use case for Gemini CLI? Here's a scenario. Let's say your company server generates a log file every 10 minutes and you need an automated workflow that translates the log file to Spanish and saves that version to a remote server for the company's Mexico branch. Gemini CLI is a perfect tool for this. You can simply type Gemini-P can you translate the log file at server-log.txt to Spanish and save it as server-log-spanish.txt. And you finish that up with dash dash YOLO. And Gemini CLI will do exactly that. And for reference, the trailing dash dash YOLO argument just allows Gemini to proceed so that Gemini won't ask for permission to read the file in your directory, in this case, the server-log.txt file. So just like we performed a server log translation from English to Spanish using Gemini CLI, we can also translate to other languages like Korean or any other languages. And Gemini CLI will carry out its task based on the prompt that you provide to it. So tying everything together, in order to create the entire workflow for the company's requirements, you have to write this command into a script and have it run as a cron tab that runs every 10 minutes and use FTP to transfer the translated file to a remote location. And this was all done without any human intervention. And now we have a workflow fully automated and completed by Gemini CLI. What about a different use case for Gemini CLI. Let's say your customer service department saves a transcription of all your customer service calls and your manager wants a weekly summary of all the transcriptions and write one page report and outlines trends and suggestions on how to improve their product to better serve the customer based on their feedback. This entire workflow can be automated using Gemini CLI by running it in the terminal. All you would have to do is to go to the directory that stores all the call transcriptions, write up a Gemini prompt like this, Gemini-P generate a report given the customer service call transcription and outline the trends and give suggestions on how to improve our product. The transcription files are located in the at slash home slash desktop folder. And Gemini will then read through every file that exists in that folder and load it into the context window and at the end generate a report given the context of all the call logs. So tying everything together, in order to completely fulfill the business requirements, you can connect the exported txt file and tie it with an email relay service that would send this report as an email attachment to you and your manager every day or every week. So as you can see, Gemini CLI gives so much room for users to expand its usage beyond simple coding editing tools. Gemini CLI is really built to be used as an agentic system, meaning Gemini CLI is positioning itself as a tool that can help you build agentic tools. So as the industry moves forward from software to agents, it's critical to learn how to use Gemini CLI as a skill set to bring to an organization. Now that we covered conceptual elements of Gemini CLI, let's look at how it looks like on a practical level. To better understand this, we can look over at this lab specifically geared towards how to use Gemini CLI. Looking at this lab, we're diving into Google Gemini CLI, a powerful terminal-based tool. 
Now, one of the first questions you might ask is, why should I use Gemini CLI when there are already other tools like Cursor, Cloud Code, and Windsurf out there? Well, Gemini CLI brings something unique to the table. It's completely open source with an Apache 2 license, which means you can not only see exactly how it works under the hood, but also you can customize it for commercial use. And here's the kicker. It's powered by Google's state-of-the-art Gemini 2.5 Pro model, giving you direct access to Google's best AI model right in your terminal. So in the first task, we're asked to install Gemini CLI and verify it's working correctly. We'll run a setup script that installs Gemini globally via NPM. Once that's done, we'll check the version to confirm everything is set up properly. The installation gives us version 0.30.2, which provides stable functionality for all the automation workflows we're about to build. Moving on to the second question, explore this one to yourself to understand the key advantages of Gemini CLI over other terminal tools. In task 3, we're asked to use Gemini's interactive mode. We navigate to the Gemini Labs directory where there are pre-configured sample files including project folders, transcriptions, and server logs. When we use Gemini, it'll prompt us to select a provider. We choose option 2 for OpenAI. Then we type in the slash init command which analyzes our entire project structure and creates a Gemini.md configuration file. This file contains a project overview, key files, and usage instruction that help Gemini understand our project context. When the preview appears, we select option 1 to allow it to create the file. Task 4 introduces us to the dash P flag for direct prompting. This is where things get really interesting for automation. Instead of entering interactive mode, we can run commands directly like Gemini dash P, how many files do I have in my directory, and get immediate results. This non-interactive approach is perfect for scripts, cron tab jobs, and CI CD pipelines. No human interaction needed, completely automated. Now in task 5, we're asked to explore the at notation. This is a game changer for explicitly referencing files and directories in your prompts. When you use at slash root slash Gemini labs slash project, Gemini knows you're talking about a specific path, not just text. You can reference entire directories for bulk analysis or specific files for targeted operations. Try running the command to see how Gemini can count files in a directory and summarize specific file contents. Here's where it gets really practical. Task 6 presents our first real business case, server log translation. Imagine your company's server generates log every 10 minutes and you did them translate it to Spanish for your Mexico branch. We're asked to translate an existing server log file using Gemini. The command uses the at notation to reference the log file and includes the dash dash YOLO flag, which is crucial, it skips all permission prompts, making it perfect for automation. Once you run this command, Gemini reads the log file, translates it to Spanish, and saves it automatically. To complete the workflow, you just add this to a cron tab that runs every 10 minutes to use the FTP to transfer the translated file to a remote server. Task 7 takes us to another business scenario, a customer service analysis. Let's say your customer service department saves transcription of all customer calls and your manager wants weekly summaries and trends and improvement suggestions. We're asked to generate a comprehensive report from the transcription folder. Gemini reads all all the files in that folder into a context window and generates a detailed analysis identifying trends, common issues, and product improvement suggestions. This whole process that might take hours manually is done in seconds. The final task, explore this yourself to see how all these pieces come together to create fully automated agentic workflows. What's really powerful here is that Gemini CLI isn't just another code editing tool, it's positioning itself as a platform for building agentic systems. These examples we've worked through, the server log translation and customer analysis report, they're just the beginning. You can connect these outputs to email relay services, integrate with other systems, create complex automation chains as the industry moves from traditional software to autonomous agents, mastering Gemini CLI becomes a critical skill set. The beauty of Gemini CLI is how it lives natively in your terminal with immediate access to your local files. No context switching, no complicated setups, just simple commands that can be chained together to create sophisticated workflows that run 24-7 without any human intervention. Whether you're translating logs to multiple languages, analyzing customer feedback, or building any automated workflow, Gemini CLI gives you the tools to make it happen.